Hey everyone, it's Jasmine and I'm so happy you're here. Today we are at Culver's and Culver's got new thick cut bacon with like new flavoring on it. So on the Culver's website, it told me creations to try with the bacon. So that is exactly what I did because it sounded like a good idea. So the first one is part of a kid's meal. So we got fries with that and I definitely forgot to get sauce, so go me. And then we have a grilled cheese, which should have bacon on it. It sure does. You see it poking out the side? So that is the first creation that Culver said to do, is to get a grilled cheese and ask for bacon on it. Which I love grilled cheese and I love bacon, so. And then I got a Dr. Pepper as my drink for the kids meal. My hair is bugging me. Yep, we're gonna have to tuck it behind my ear. I had a pink drink right before this, so don't really need a Dr. Pepper, but it's kid size, so doesn't even count. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna tell myself. Dr. Pepper hits every single time. I'm gonna squeeze that between my legs and hope to goodness I don't spill on myself. <laughs> and then we got some more items in the bag. So another thing they told me to do was to get mashed potatoes. We got a spoon and a fork. And then they said to get cheese sauce and a side of bacon and make cheesy bacon mashed potatoes. And then I also got a crispy chicken sandwich with bacon on it. That is thick bacon. They also, of course, said that you could get the bacon on a burger, but that just seemed boring. So I didn't do that. Here, this is a flyer for the bacon. And then this should be my bacon to make my potatoes. Oh my goodness, y'all. I asked for two strips and I got like six. I have no idea how much they charge me for the bacon either. Because the thing about the receipts at Culver's is that it just lists out your items with no prices. Well, it says my total was $23. Which honestly, a sandwich, bacon, cheese, potatoes, fries, a drink, grilled cheese with bacon, but I couldn't tell you how much it is to add bacon or to get it on the side because it's not itemized. So I think I'm gonna make these potatoes real quick so that they can be in the thumbnail already made. Ooh, my potatoes also have gravy on them. I thought I asked for them plain. Whatever, honestly, the gravy can't add anything bad. I love Culver's gravy, so we got mashed potatoes and gravy. We're gonna spoon out the cheese sauce and then crumble some bacon. <laughs> Whoever thought of this was a smart cookie. <laughs> and I got so much bacon. This is a big piece. Let's crumble you up. The only thing about this is that you gotta make it your shell. But, fully worth. I'm sure it's gonna be at least. I know we haven't tried it yet, but just think about it. Cheese, bacon, potatoes. There's really no way this could go wrong. I think I should put in another slice of bacon. 
I mean, I have so much bacon, I might as well. Don't be coming in the comments and being like, bacon's so unhealthy. This is a bacon video. So yes, I will be eating a lot of bacon today. And that's just the way the cookie crumbles. And I love bacon and you do too, don't even lie. We all love bacon. So I still have like four slices left. Wipe some of that bacon grease off my fingers. And I'm gonna take a thumbnail and then we will start eating. Okay guys, I am gonna start with my chicken sandwich. So I ordered a chicken sandwich, no pickles, add mayo and bacon. That bacon is flavored beautifully, just as they said it would be. I love the crunch of everything. The crunch of the lettuce, the crunch of the chicken, the crunch of the bacon, all the different textures. Now you obviously aren't gonna get bacon in every bite because there's two pieces and they're like crisscrossed. So if you want bacon in every bite, sorry. But it's really good. Solid eight out of 10. Yeah, for sure. I have lettuce all over my lap. <laughs> I do prefer shredded lettuce on my sandwiches though, so that it comes out with the bites. Okay, potatoes or grilled cheese? I think we gotta go for the potatoes. So, there's gravy, cheese, and bacon. And there's potatoes down there somewhere. <laughs> I'm going to get gravy, cheese, and bacon all in my bite here. That's wondrous. Holy. Oh my gosh, you can really taste everything. That's really, really good. Whoever was sitting there during the meeting and was like, we should tell them to put it on potatoes. Yep. That person should have got a raise. I hope they did. <laughs> Look how good it looks too. If you love the taste of the cheese sauce and a coarse bacon, this is a 10 out of 10 concoction. And it was super easy to mix together. There's an underlying flavor of gravy, of course. I like it. But if you think the gravy and cheese would bother you, just say no gravy. No baby. I could, oh, that is so good. That is my favorite thing. So far, we'll see if this grilled cheese. Grilled cheese with bacon. The grilled cheese is like stupid good. Yeah. Yep. 
This is really close with the mashed potatoes because the toasted bread and the cheese is all ooey gooey. Remember, if you're going to order a grilled cheese, it's on the kids' menu. So you gotta ask for a kids' meal with the grilled cheese. That's scrumptious. That bacon is so, so good. Anything you order at Culver's, just throw it on. Like a super fangirl of this grilled cheese right now. Many people I'm sure are thinking like, I can make that at home. It's literally grilled cheese with two pieces of bacon. Mm -mm. There's something about this specific grilled cheese that is just so good. For you or your kid. Because I'm sure your kid also loves bacon and grilled cheese. So this could really be for anyone. Comment down below if you're one of the strange people who don't like bacon. There's so many like of those universal foods that you think are safe for everyone. Grilled cheese is probably one too. But like pizza, some people don't like pizza or chicken wings or there's just some of those universal foods that you're like, no way. There's people that don't like that. Mashed potatoes, cheese. A lot of people do not like cheese. I know at least a handful of people that don't like cheese. And that's just crazy to me because I put cheese on everything. Honestly, if I would have thought about it, a slice of Swiss cheese on the chicken sandwich would have been yum. I think Swiss cheese is my favorite kind of cheese. I almost considered getting ice cream, but I had already ordered so much. I was like, no way. I haven't even eaten the fries. I didn't really even care for the fries today. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love Culver's food. But if it hadn't have, had come with the kids meal, I wouldn't have got it. I think the other choice was like applesauce and I don't eat fruit. That was a big thing. Not really a like big thing, but at Easter, people put fruit in everything apparently. How'd your guys' Easter go, by the way? Me and my boyfriend went to my grandparents' house for Easter with the family. And we had ham, so many potatoes. I ate more potatoes than anything. I ate potatoes for dessert because I'm just more of a salty kind of person. This is the best creation. If you're gonna try one thing from this video, mashed potatoes, 
cheese cup, and bacon. Man, I'm gonna have to stop by my boyfriend's work because I have half a grilled cheese and half a sandwich and fries and extra bacon and I'm full. I'm just finishing these potatoes. There's no way someone at work isn't gonna want this stuff. Maybe not the chicken sandwich because I ate off of it, but the rest is safe. All gone. Super, super, super good. Oh, I just looked down at my feet while I was wiping my hands. I'm wearing rain boots today because it was supposed to rain and the most we've gotten is a light sprinkle. Now I'm in my rain boots being embarrassed because it ain't raining. They're cute, but like the weather tricked me. Yesterday it was raining all day and my feet got wet and I was upset about it so when I saw it was supposed to continue raining throughout today I was like that's it I'm pulling out my rain boots we are not having wet feet today and it is sprinkling like there's a few tiny little drops on my windshield hopefully it rain rains so that my rain boots have a purpose I also really love puddle jumping And my nails I did for Easter slash spring. I'll probably keep them for a few weeks. But I am going to end the video here. Let me know if you try any of these items and what you think of Culver's new bacon. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up down below and hit the subscribe button if you would not mind. I would really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all next Friday. Bye guys.